Hey guys, today we are starting off with zero makeup on the face. I am doing a full face of drugstore makeup. I cannot wait to get into this bronzy look. I haven't done a drugstore makeup in a very long time, so I'm very excited to get into it. I also wanna thank L'Oreal for partnering up with me on the chocolate collection of their liquid lips in this video, so thank you guys for that. And if you wanna see what I end up looking like, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's put some makeup on my face. First, I'm gonna pick up this L'Oreal Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint. It's a nourishing moisture for skin with a touch of illuminating color. So I'm taking the shade Honey in 804. It looks like that. And I'm just gonna use it because I feel like my skin's a little dull looking right now. So I just wanna use it on certain parts of my face. I don't wanna use it all over just because my whole face is gonna look like a disco ball, I feel like. And I can definitely see that there is some shine right there, so I don't want my whole entire face to look that shiny. But I do want it to look luminous in these areas, so we're just gonna keep it right there. And I like that it's hydrating, so it also is going to help bring in some hydration in those spots. And then I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. This is a pore minimizing primer. Looks like that. It's purple, just like my background. We're matching. I'm gonna put this on my nose. Just a little bit on my nose. Oh my God, that smells amazing. So the concealer, or the foundation that I'm gonna use today is from CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Matte Made. This one, this is the shade M10. It's supposed to be a 12 hour foundation. It's matte. So let's see how this guy works. For us, I have never, I don't think I've ever used a CoverGirl foundation. I know that sounds kind of crazy, um, but I really haven't. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna work on my skin. And I hope that it gives me some type of coverage. Oh, this is kind of weird. There's like these little hard pieces that are coming off on my skin and I don't know what exactly it is, but I'm hoping I can just remove it as I blend it in, I don't know. But the coverage so far isn't too bad. It's working pretty good. And I like the color. Just gotta blend it down to my neck. So I'm gonna go in with the second layer. I didn't really put much right in the center of my forehead, so put some there and then a second layer around my cheek area. And I think this is all that we're gonna do. I'm not mad at the coverage. I think this is a probably a medium coverage foundation. Doesn't say on the bottle. Just says Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant. So I'm gonna try this out the entire day and I will let you guys know on social media how I feel about this. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a tiny bit on my eyes just so we can even out this redness. I don't like to go in too heavy with foundation here just because it adds a lot of creasing if you're not careful. Even when you put powder, if you put too much of a cream, it will still look creasy and uneven. So you gotta be careful on the amount that you put. No matter if you're using high-end, drugstore, it's all the same, so be careful. We're gonna let that dry. I'm not mad at the coverage, I really like it. Actually, it's not like insanely full coverage. My moles still peek through, but I'm cool with that because it is covering the redness, it's evening my skin tone out, and it is covering those blemishes. So I wanna do something bronzy, so I'm gonna grab this palette right here from L'Oreal, it's the La Palette Nude. It has some really nice browns in there. This is kind of just like a mauve taupe color. I'm gonna take a crease brush and just work that in the crease. This is gonna be our transition shade, so this is the lightest shade we're gonna be using. We're gonna use number five, and it's just another, it's like a light bronze kind of a shade. And I'm gonna go right below that and just do another layer right on the crease. Just gradually working our intensity up. I want to have like a really nice brown, bronzy kind of lid. Very soft hand when I'm doing the second shade just because I don't want, I don't know how these, honestly, I don't know how these eyeshadows work and I don't want them to get muddy. So anytime you're not sure about the quality of a shadow, which I think Gloria has great quality, but just because I've never used this palette before, you always wanna go in with a lighter hand just in case. Okay, so the next shade I'm picking up is this brown. It's the darkest brown in the palette, right near the bottom of the crease. And I'm gonna bring it in on the sides, but not too much in the center. I wanna add a bronzy metallic kind of color there. So I'm gonna keep that space 
crease open and I'm just gonna lightly dust it over the crease and going over the top. But depending on the amount of pressure that you use, you can really just use one color to create all these different types of dimension on your eye. It's like the one eyeshadow brush challenge going on right now. I'm getting chocolatey eye vibes right now and I really like it. Oops. <laughs> Okay, this is a real life situation. I'm just gonna take my clean finger and just wipe it off. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up that brown in the palette and I'm really gonna focus that on the outer corner and going into the crease. Lick it outwards. If you have too much on your brush, just tap it off and go back in and flick your eyeshadow upwards. And then with this really pretty golden bronze shade, this is called Brass Knuckles. It's like this, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take it with my finger just cause I like the way metallics apply with the fingers better. And I'm just going to work it right on the lid like that. Oh, that's pretty. And then just to make sure that we don't have any spots that are really rough or just really harsh, I'm gonna softly work in those edges so it transitions together really nice and seamlessly. Ooh, wow, that is gorge. This is such a quick look. I feel like I didn't take much time to create it and it was super easy just to do the eyeshadow. I'm also gonna bring it to the lower lash line too though. The palette came with this little tiny brush. So I'm gonna take the middle shade right here. I think this is five and a little bit of six and just take it right on the outer lower lash line. In this palette, it has another really pretty gold shade. I don't want I don't want it to be the exact same color as this, so I'm gonna take this gold shade right here. It's a little bit lighter. I'm gonna work that on the inner corner and kind of on the lower part of the lash line, the inner part of the lower la <laughs> the inner part of the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take that gold and work it right here. It's not as reflective as the color that I used on my lid but it still brightens the area without it looking too matchy. I just didn't want it to be the exact same. And then for the brows, I'm gonna first do my brows before I get into anything else because I feel, I can't do the no brow look for very, very long. So I'm gonna take this um, CoverGirl soft brown eyebrow pencil. So what I like to do is start like in the center, like right here, and then I will just even the entire brow out from here. And then you see how there's a huge space? I'll just fill that in as I go. I have never used this before, by the way. It's super, super precise, which I like. Softly feather out the brow and build it up. I don't like to go in too heavy closer to the eye because then that starts to look kind of just, it just doesn't look as natural. And if there's parts of the brow that actually have hair, I don't really touch it as much. I just go in between where it's more sparse. And then for the front of the brow, I'm just gonna take these, I'm gonna go in with these little brow hairs right here. I hate when my brow, like I don't like if my brow is just like clean and edged over. I have to have brow-like hair in the front. So I'm gonna take the spoolie and go through them. Okay, so now that I have some eyebrow on my face, which I really actually enjoyed using the CoverGirl pencil because it's so precise and the color matches me so perfectly. So I definitely would recommend this little pencil right here. So I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. I was really contemplating if I wanted to do eyeliner, but I definitely think the eyeliner would make this more dramatic, which is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl um, eyeliner. And then for a pop of color in this look, I wanna put in this purple. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Purple Violet. We put this on my waterline, just in my waterline. I'm not gonna take it down anywhere else. I just want a subtle pop of color. This is always so uncomfortable to put in my eye. I've been doing makeup for like ever and I still cannot get used to putting anything in my waterline. It just sucks so bad, but it looks so pretty. So beauty is pain. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot. This has been a favorite for a while. So I'm just gonna put that on. I am gonna put on some false lashes and they are not drugstore. For lashes, I'm gonna take the Miami Lashes from the Lily Lash and just pop them on really quick. For concealer, I just put a dot on my face. Um, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. It's the Eraser Dark Circles. So this is the shade Medium. I would normally use the shade Light or a Neutralizer, but I have been trying this new thing and I've been trying to not 
brighten my under eyes but make them almost like even with the rest of my skin so and I've been into it I've been really loving it so I'm gonna try the shade medium and when I was first trying this I'm like okay there's something missing like the brightness is missing like I just feel like my makeup isn't right but as the day goes on I, I got a lot of compliments on it like I don't know about my skin I just got a lot of compliments and I think it was the way that I'm doing this new like evening instead of brightening look now we're gonna set the skin so I'm gonna take this covergirl vitalist healthy powder in the shade classic ivory and I'm gonna work that within with my sponge and I'm just gonna lay that right on top of the concealer right on top of the concealer and basically just all over the face so for the rest of the face I'm just gonna take the backside and just push this into my skin and for some reason I know it says ivory which you would think is super bright but it actually is not bright at all it's not super light it matches my skin so well and then for contour I'm gonna use the wet n wild contouring palette contouring palette contour so I'm gonna take this brown shade for the cheeks and around the forehead for the nose I'm gonna take this BH cosmetics brush it's just an angled brush and I'm gonna add some structure to my nose. I feel like my nose changes my entire, like my nose contour changes my entire face. Just personally, that's how I feel. I don't know why, I just, I don't know how I used to not wear nose contour in this specific way because it is literally a game changer for my face. I'm gonna take the Rimmel Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. This is supposed to be a waterproof bronzer, which has always really appealed to me. I don't know why I don't really go swimming much or get in the pool or go to the beach. So I don't know why, but I always like when it says waterproof because you never know what's going to happen. I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks with this. Just look like we got some sun, like we were at the beach for a little bit, even though we weren't. We were on the couch watching Netflix. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlights in the shade Molten Gold. And I'm just going to use a little bit on my cheekbone, my nose, upper lip, and some on my forehead. All right, and then for the finale of this look, I'm gonna be using one of these chocolate, what is it called? Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, Les Chocolates. I think that's how you say it. There's some, there's like six different colors that I have here and they smell amazing. Let me just give you a taste of what they smell like. like a box of chocolates. That's what it smells like. It smells so good. I can smell this all day. <laughs> I can eat it. I feel like I can contour with this shade if I want to do. It is so, so, it smells amazing. I actually want to use this brown shade just because I haven't used a darker shade recently. And the rest are like light pinks, mauve pink, nudes. Actually, I'm gonna try the brown. Let's try it. Ooh, that is dark. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is like chocolate on the lips. I bit into a box of chocolate. I love the applicator, it's so easy to apply. I love how it's pointed and then it curves outwards. I feel like you can get really precise with this without even needing a lip liner. This is one of those matte liquid lips that don't dry out your lips or make them feel dry. It just, it's a really comfortable, like, it, kind of flexible it like flexes with your lips when you move them and it's non-transferable I really really love this liquid lip and this is a shade because I forgot to tell you guys 70% yum oh, and it smells so so good you're gonna love it I actually really like the way it looks with this look and we are done with this makeup tutorial what do you guys think I'm gonna go and do my hair and then I will be right back to show you the final look. I've never been one that winks cute. I don't know why I'm trying. Thank you guys for watching.
watching. I hope you enjoyed this drugstore makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up if you want more drugstore makeup looks. And before I let you go, I just want to remind you that you are beautiful and you are smart and I hope you have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until the next video, bye guys.